Today on Rare Spirits and Gear, we check out the Ghost Phantom and Signature Guitar from Hegstrom. When Ghost originally started playing the Hegstrom Phantom and model, it was only just a few months ago as of this taping where they first appeared on stage with them. And I instantly got blown up by watchers of this channel knowing I'm a huge fan of offset guitars. And they were asking, did I have any information about them and where could they get one and who, who's making them? Are they custom one off models, are they signature models? What are they? And I didn't know at the time until someone in the crowd at one of the shows who played guitar photographed the Hagstrom logo on these guitars. And that was a pretty pleasant surprise. Speaking of pleasant surprises, these uh, Lund Lundgren designed pickups are really, really awesome. I find them pretty balanced. They're, they're big rock pickups is what they are. I wouldn't say they're voiced for extreme metal. They're not voiced for really, really mellow rock. They're a real middle of the road, kind of hot, pathy sort of a pickup that can do a lot with what they give you, especially with the coil tapping, which is super awesome. But enough of the specs for now. Let's get to a tune. For this song, I used uh, the Phantom Man, obviously, into a Maxon OD808 Overdrive into my Laboga DS100 Plexi Amp. Sounds awesome, sounds huge, and my good buddy Ben Eller laid down a guest solo. So let's get to the tune, shall we? So next, let's do a little bit of playthrough action. We're just gonna casually just kind of go through some tones. I'm going to use the uh, coil splitting, the humbucking splitting pots on the guitar. And I'm going to switch to the Mesa Boogie TC50 Triple Crown. Uh, it's just because it has more channels and I can add some reverb if I want and things like that. So keep in mind or uh, notice how long the notes sustain on this guitar, that is due to the H expander truss rod, which keeps tension at both ends of the neck and also allows for a fairly thin neck profile. All right, so let's get to the playthrough.
Overall, The Phantomen has huge bang for the buck. I actually got some questions online asking me if this was a one-off custom shop or, or something like that. And the answer is no. This guitar that I'm holding right here is a Made in China uh, production guitar. And the reason why you can't find them yet as of this the airing of this video is because they're just, they're not out yet. You can pre-order them in some places in the United States and Europe. In the United States, these are retailing for $7.99. So keep that in mind when you are uh, looking for your newest guitar. Um, overall, this guitar feels very good. And like I said, the neck is pretty thin. I wouldn't say it's like Ibanez wizard thin or anything like that, but it's like a 60s profile that's been on a little bit of a diet sort of profile, but it feels very good. And overall, the weight of the guitar is right around eight and a half pounds, maybe eight and three quarters, this particular guitar. Um, it balances well over a long period of time while you're sitting down in the studio and also feels really good strapped up and it's not too neck heavy. And uh, overall, I dig the guitar. The guitar looks like Dracula would play it if he played guitar. And you know what, for the sake of this conversation, let's just say that Dracula does play guitar. All big links down below in the description. You've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.